Hi there, how you doing? It's been a bit. So today, in spirit of summer cons and the topic we have been covering the past few weeks on the channel, that we would do something a little different for this episode of Con Stories. This is an anthology of sorts, compiling my most ridiculous costume choices and how I came to instantly regret them. Most recently, Anime North, where my fiance and I completely forgot that wearing costumes like this should and will forever be a big no-no. We will be starting from the oldest to the most recent offenses. Now, despite it being hot and uncomfortable at most conventions, that is unfortunately the nature of this hobby. You get used to to it after a while. However, these times were the absolute worst, and in my mind just a stupid, idiotic move on my part. Now, in saying that costumes are hot and uncomfortable, we're talking about potential serious health complications from being out in the sun in these costumes for long periods of time. So if all that sounds like something you're into, keep on watching. The first really bad heat event I had was at Anime North in 2016. Now, if you've watched Con Stories for long enough, you'll know that 2016 was the year of Metaton. Papyrus, I didn't know that you were here. Mm. There were actually three summer cons I took Metaton to, and this was actually the first, and clearly I didn't learn. I was only in the costume for maybe an hour two tops before I had to seek shelter. I remember actually doing my makeup on the way to the convention, so I was fully in costume by the time I got there. So I was already in my makeup for a few hours beforehand, however, put on the rest of the costume in the car once I actually got to the event. I actually only had like one or two pictures from this event. I'll try to put them up here. So this is the only evidence I have of this occurring. I did walk around outside for for a little bit. I don't remember exactly how long I was out there for, but it definitely wasn't long. So in rushing into a car, different car from the car I arrived in, I felt the effects of heat exhaustion coming on fast. That includes headache, nausea, sweating, all sorts of wooziness, you know, the works. So I remember leaning back in the car. I was in obviously full face paint. I had a warbler plate over my eye. I also had full warbler armor and I was covered from head to toe in like my leggings, arm pieces, gloves, <laughs> boots, you name it. I did not have any part of my skin showing except for like from here up. But the worst part of that entire thing was I wasn't allowed to turn on the AC in the car. So I'm sitting here. I have minimal water. I am trying my best to stay conscious and I could not turn the AC on. I thankfully ended up getting back to the hotel at some point and got out of that costume and I put something else on and then I continued the rest of my day. Now I did have a paid photo shoot on Friday for Undertale. That clearly didn't happen. So I just ended up wearing something else. However, I remember feeling sick the entire day, but it did not end there. As if the Metaton fiasco wasn't enough, I ended up doing the exact same thing the next day. I cosplayed Ruby Rose and I was walking around with this huge, beautiful wooden scythe that my future father-in-law made for me. Despite the fact that I was wearing a skirt this day and had a bit more breathability in the costume, it it, it wasn't any better. Carrying around this, this big scythe that's taller than me, also with the petticoat, all the layers, the dress itself like was completely like up to here and it was black. So, you know, not a good time. By the end of this shoot, I had sweat dripping down my face. It was actually disgusting. After my last photo shoot, I ended up running back to my hotel room and changing once again. As stupid as I was with my costume choices that AN, I do think that it was particularly hot that year. So for whatever reason, I didn't fucking learn and I only took things down a tiny notch the next Anime North. That was the year I cosplayed Lapis Lazuli in full blue. I didn't have armor, but I was covered from head to toe. I had face paint and then had these colored arm stocks and stockings, so I did not have to paint my entire body. They were incredibly constricting because they were thicker tights, and also I had just purchased them, so they were very tight on me. Thankfully, they were still a little, a little, a little more breathable. Even so, now that I'm going to cons again, if I can avoid face paint cosplays at summer cons or all together, I will. As someone with sensory issues, it's just not a fun time. Now this one's cool. I don't feel like many people saw this costume, so I wanted to throw it in here. My Femme Genos at Toronto Comic Con 2018 was also pretty bad. <laughs> Got awesome pictures. I felt cool, but it was 
very hot. Between that long wig, those big ol' arms, and all the layers I was wearing, it just, oof. It was like I was wearing a blanket the entire con. That said, I was very happy to give shit to the Christian protesters outside of the anime convention. I don't know, I don't get the whole anime is, uh, is ungodly or whatever. I don't, I don't get it. I just know that they show up. Did they show up at Anime North this year? I don't know if they did, but whatever. That whole Christian protester thing, that's a whole other story. Maybe I'll tell that one day. That, that's pretty, that's a pretty good story. That's a pretty good story. I do have a few relevant stories from the two years I attended Otakuthon, which I could put in this one. However, part of me wants to make dedicated con stories episodes for the <laughs> Otakuthon shenanigans, and they definitely deserve their own videos. That said, I can briefly touch on Mew because one, I did not wear that costume enough and I would really like to do it again. And two, it was surprisingly, incredibly fucking hot. You'd think it wouldn't be. But it is. Again, it's probably like the long wig and the bodysuit and whatever, but I, I wasn't expecting to be as hot as I was in that costume. I'm gonna confess to this, but I did only wear pasties, but like even not having a bra on was still bad. So I can't even imagine if I did have a bra on, like it was just, it was just a bad time. One less layer did absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> on that same vein, it's very interesting to me when I wear costumes because certain costumes that I think are going to be super hot aren't. And then on the flip side, costumes I don't expect to be hot are super hot. For instance, I had no issues wearing Mellow when I was wearing two pairs of pants. Let me explain. So the pants I use for Mellow are my Klaus pants and they have open sides. Obviously Melo doesn't have that, so I wear tights underneath. I even purchased a thinner pair of tights in preparation, so that might be why I wasn't too hot. I know it seems kind of weird to be like, oh, I, I was expecting Melo to be super hot when you look at his costume, but I'm, I mean, also look at his costume. However, Gallo is an absolute mess. I really wasn't expecting to be that hot in Gallo, but I was. As of right now, those are all the uh, shitty costume choices I have made at summer and spring cons because Toronto Comic Con was actually in spring. <laughs> yeah, so I'll probably make the exact same mistake again because we do never learn as cosplayers. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and also comment down below letting me know if you ever made any stupid cosplay decisions in terms of weather because I know I'm not alone in this and that's why I'm sharing it. This is an experience we all have as cosplayers. We just really want to wear that character and we're going to do it no matter if we pass out or whatever. I don't know. I've only ever done that like once so we're, we're doing pretty good. Anyway, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more. I am going to try to get more con stories out because I know you enjoy them. And also turn on those notifications if that's something you're into. With that all said, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.